The Western mainstream media gave full coverage to the royal wedding in Britain. The gala itself was magnificent. Unbelievable. Emotional. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. Fantastic. Phenomenal. This is cool. Lovely. Great. But the glamorous facade and the media hype couldn't hide the fact that not all the people in Britain feel the same about the wedding as those interested in the royal family. You know, it's a wedding, it's a personal private event and it should be a happy day and I'm very happy for the couple and you know, wish them all the best. But it is a private event but which they have then turned into a major public uh, spectacle, um, which is going to cost the taxpayer uh, an awful lot of money uh, and it's going to be used for uh, saturation PR for the royal brand and I think that's where the problem comes in. An opinion poll found that less than a third of the British people are interested in the royal marriage between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. 60% of the respondents said they would be spending the weekend normally instead of watching the ceremony. Though the survey also showed that 60% of Britons like the Queen, most of them are not interested in Harry as heir to the throne. The overall result also suggests that the royals are not that popular among ordinary people in Britain and that citizens are no longer fond of such matters as royal weddings. Well, I believe that the opinion polls leading up to the royal wedding demonstrate something bigger. They demonstrate that while support for the monarchy in Britain is still in the majority, it is still substantial, it has nonetheless decreased. The wedding planning service known as Brightbook, an American news website, Business Insider, estimate that the royal marriage has cost British taxpayers a whopping $45 million. We are confronted with the royal wedding, a family which is one of the richest in the world, but nonetheless, they have asked and they have received for the royal wedding to be paid for by the British taxpayer, paid for to the tune of £32 million. Pounds. Now that is deeply offensive, that is deeply disrespectful. This comes as report after report is warning of a deepening poverty crisis in Britain. Republic, a grassroots movement opposing monarchy in the country, blames the royal family for feeding off public funds at the expense of ordinary citizens. The group claims the British monarchy is not what Republic calls a harmless tourist attraction some people think. It says the royal family has a long history of abusing public money and interfering in politics. In Britain in 2018, there are 14 million people living in poverty. That is one in five of the British population. Together with that, is the depressing reality that there are four million children in Britain living in poverty. Britain's Republicans are describing the royal wedding as escapist nonsense and a real-life soap opera for people who fantasize about fame, riches and fairy tale romance. The Republicans are supporters of Britain's Republic movement. This group calls for the abolition of the monarchy and wants Britain to be ruled by a head of state directly elected by people. The British Queen's said to be popular among citizens. This has been corroborated by opinion polls. But that is not the case with the rest of the royal family. The Republicans say Britain, after the Queen's death, must hold a referendum on whether people approve of monarchy as their country's ruling system. It is likely that such a vote will take place, as referendums are not unprecedented in Britain on issues related to governance. <laughs> <laughs>